Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to create water bubbles in Adobe Illustrator. First, we will create individual elements that we will join after. On the left side we have seven circles with different effects and colors applied to them. Let's take them one at a time. The first circle will have a blue color, the code of which can be seen at the bottom right next to hash. The next one is also a color but it will have 10% opacity and you will find the code on the right side next to hash. The third circle will be the same color as the second but with 15% opacity. The fourth circle will have a radial gradient of two points applied. The point inside will have white color and the opacity of 90% and the point outside will have the opacity of 0% and the color with the code on the right next to hash. The fifth circle will be similar to the fourth circle except that instead of the white color we will have another color whose code we will find next to hash. The sixth circle will have a gradient of two points but this time it will be linear. The first point will be white with 50% opacity and the second will have a color with the code on the right next to hash, and 70% opacity. The last circle will have a radial gradient of two points applied. The point in the center will be white with 0% opacity and the one on the outside will have the color with the code next to hash and an opacity of 100%. Now let's build the water bubble using all the previously created elements. First we will create the background and take the color from the first circle using the eyedropper tool. Then we will create a circle and select the gradient of the last circle. We will make sure that the transparency is on overlay. By simultaneously pressing Shift, Alt and left click we will create a copy of the circle and we will reduce it a little, while keeping Shift and Alt pressed. Then we will place it on top of the other one and select the gradient of the penultimate circle on the left using the eyedropper tool. We will make sure that the white side is up. And this will have transparency on overlay. We will create a copy of the smaller circle and drag it down. We will create another copy of the initial circle that we will select together with the bottom one and using the shape builder tool, we will delete the bottom parts. To delete we will press ALT. This will be a light and we will color it using the eyedropper tool and clicking on the second circle. Then we will create another light on the left side like this. We will create a copy of the smaller circle and then another one that we will enlarge. We will intersect the two circles so that we only have a small part on the left and then we will delete the parts we don't need using shape builder tool. Then we will create a rectangle that we will place on the center of the shape and we will delete that part using shape builder tool. We will color this light with the third circle and place it on the left side. We will make a similar light for the right side, but we will not segment it in two.
Next we will make a copy of the fourth circle and place it on top. To do this we will right click on it, we will select arrange and then select bring to front. Holding shift and alt, we will enlarge the circle and place it on the upper right. Then we will select the next circle that we will place next to the first one but it will be smaller and more to the left. We will make other copies of the fifth circle that we will flatten and place around the smaller circle. All these will represent points of light that will give the bubble a shiny and reflective appearance. After we have finished creating the water bubble, we will group it and then we can create copies of it that we will place either next to or above the original one. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you liked it. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. In this way I will know that you appreciate my work and I will continue to make interesting tutorials for you.